If this a game, 2K, one of a kind. 2K, best by my thigh. 2K, breath I don't fly. Ooh, a Maki Barrage. Uchi hot test on my highs. Oh, come on. No. No. God damn it. Of course. Salvage located. Ready for war. Hey, what's going on, guys? I think I'm Hercules here. How y'all doing? I hope y'all had a fabulous weekend. So, today I want to talk about something a little bit different. We're going to talk about the pro main problem, in my opinion, with Call of Duty Cold War Zombies. And at the end of the video, guys, behind talking about the primary problem, I'll be talking about, in my opinion, the second problem, when that first problem does not kick in. If you guys are ready for the video, go ahead and like, share, subscribe. And let's get right into the video. I'm not the one to uh, lead you on. Throughout the duration of the video, we're going to be talking about the Call of Duty Zombie server problems. It is atrocious. It is the most, it is the least consistent server I've ever had the displeasure of experiencing. So, I started playing Call of Duty Cold War Zombies when the game first came out. Because that's what I am. I'm a zombie. So I play all the zombies game. And when I first got onto this one, I said, okay. Let's hop right onto online because despite what anyone says, Call of Duty Zombies is meant to be a four-player experience. That's why there's always four players, like, you know, like four characters that we select, even as to now how it was, you know, it's just random operators, but still it's a four-player game. It's meant to be played with four people. That's where you get the best experience. So me, I jump into public games a lot because I can carry myself and I can help others. Like, I, I feel confident in my ability and... It, like playing with people that are bad is what I'm saying it doesn't affect me. It doesn't hurt me. It doesn't mess me up. As a matter of fact, what I actually like to do is when people are bad and they go down a lot, I just revive them and get the speed boost from the quick revive. Anyway, guys, moving on. The problem that the, the, the server problem that Call of Duty is having with it having to be a full player online co-op game is it, it, something that just don't make sense to me. Like I, I'm really baffled. And, and shocking, like, I just don't understand wh why is it like that, because if you're, I'm just, if you're meant to be played with four people, your service got to work, and, and, from, and I just got back into Cold War, so, like, that's what I'm saying, I played Zombies, Cold War Zombies when it first came out, but then I haven't played again since, until, like, this later season came out, I think we're in season three, you know, excuse me if I'm wrong, um, it's either season three or season two for sure, and I just started playing it again, and I, you know, the game is, we'll talk about that part later. Every single game, our first thing I did, guys, I got into the new mode, Outbreak. Every single match I got into ended early through lost connection of hosts, uh, error, uh, 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 connection dis uh, interrupted. And I'm t I mean, you guys may think I'm exaggerating. This is before I ever started recording. This is actually what even gave me the idea to record the video because I was like, damn, I'm getting kicked out of a lot of games. Maybe... Is that a problem? And I looked it up online because I'm like, maybe it's me. But I knew it wasn't me because my internet is it, up to par. You know, it, it, even if it ain't the most GOAT internet, it's up to par. I promise you guys. So I come to find out that it's actually how it is. Like people are all saying everywhere. Yeah, man, I'm having this problem. I'm having a problem like outbreak. They, uh, wave, about wave three to four and beyond. Every wave beyond that, you have a uh, a chance of being disconnected from the game. And while we're talking about that, because we're not going to talk about Outbreak, I don't think, again, let's actually talk about how the audio uh, glitch that comes in that game. When you do the uh, retrieve missions, when it's the two laser, uh, when it's the two, I, I can't remember, guys, it's like the two lasers that beam out. I don't know what cues the glitch in, but it's some type of glitch that comes in where all audio gets cut out of the game. Imagine you're on, I'm talking even in solo, guys. 
imagine you're in wave eight or around, or world tier eight and your your audio glitch you, you, you do a retrieve mission your audio glitch out it can't happen these are things that just can't happen and when i say the audio glitch out guys like you can hit the uh like on a playstation you can hit the ps menu button yeah to make all the noise you can you can every everything makes noise but the only way to get that audio to come back in call of duty is to close the game and bring it up now how important is audio in zombies i'm talking from mega sun spawns to the tempest thorn like you, you know even down to uh like, you just need to hear audio of the zombies. Like, when you're going to... It takes away your looting. You can't loot the chest because now you have... Uh, you have zombies popping out. Because, you know, when you play Outbreak, zombies come out of everywhere. It's way more than what you initially see. So, now you're doing all these things. And it just messes up the whole flow of the game. It just ruins it. You can't hear um, the mimic cries. You know, it, it just it, it, it's, a, it's a ruining experience, guys. Here's the problem. Call of Duty, from what I, so I'm going to be honest, guys. I really don't understand what dedicated servers versus, I guess, peer-to-peer -peer servers are. I'm guessing, in my estimate, because I was too lazy to look it up before the video, peer-to-peer -peer servers mean one person hosts dedicated servers, mean the actual creators of the game host a direct server, and then people ping in and out. Um, the problem with one person hosting is, let's see this. You play a long game of Call of Duty, like, you get to, like, wave, I don't know, 62. You're tired. You got to use the bathroom. Maybe you, you're down to maybe run one more. I don't know if you're fiending, right? Or well, let's see. How about that change of position? You made it to round 43, but but you got to make you got to eat. Your food got delivered. You hungry? You go right now. When you your food got delivered at the door, when you down with a game, you just go downstairs and you heat up your you heating up your food downstairs. But little does the game know, you are now the host of that next game because you stayed in that game the longest. The people, other people have left, and now other people are going to join into your game. So now you're just sitting there as a Call of Duty player. You come back up, you're like, damn, I'm not even playing. All you do is cut off your PS, uh, cut off your whatever console you have, and you get on your TV. Next thing you know, it says, for all the other three people, migrating host. Game ended, lost connection to host. Oh, let's see this. You do a long game, and then you just leave out the house. And those players are just playing. They just they just killing all the zombies. Ray K eighty fours. They're just doing go 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 right. And next thing you know, you got your PS four or whatever console you have set to go in uh rest mode in an hour for energy consumption uh preservation. They get on wave twenty seven. That's you know your PS your your console cuts off right. Migrating host. You pack a punch your Ray Cave 84 three times. <laughs> you have all the perks. You're trying to unlock a new weapon. You're, you're matter of fact, you're on man, you're on well on 29. You're about to fight order. <laughs> Losing connection to host. Ending game. That's what happens. Why is one person the host? How to fix it? Stop having one person host. It's so simple. Why is it like that? It literally ruins everything. Why add modes that require people if the people can quit and ruin it for the other three people? It should be whereas though, at all times, whether I'm on round one or 36, it should be someone quit out zombies and start looking for someone, give me someone, bring in someone. Someone leaves, bring in someone. It should always, it should just be a rotating thing. And if the person don't like it, like let's say I don't want to join a round 25 game, I'll quit out. Someone else will ping in, come in. Oh, shit, they on round 25. Yes, I don't have to do all this setup. Give them the scrap, the, the acclimated scrap. Give them the money. And maybe make their gun, like, purple, right? They're, they're starting up in purple, and they're good, right? And then, I just don't understand it, man. It's, it, it's a really big problem in the game, and it's super consistent, and it has to stop. Um, Here's my last point, guys, because I'm not here to drag anything on. The final problem with Call of Duty Zombies Cold War is this, in plain and simple. It's too easy. Way too easy. It is prior, it is, nope, not perhaps, it is the easiest Call of, uh, Call of Duty Zombies I've ever played in my life. I got back on here my first day, my first match back on Outbreak Z. I'm talking first game ever, and like, I'm talking 
since the game came, like, I played it, the game, like, the fourth and the first month when it first came out, and I didn't play it since, so I don't know when it came out, I don't even remember, but this is my first time playing it since, and in that first game, I made it to, like, round 36, now, that may not be nothing, but it was easy, like, I, I, I when I down zombies, I, I play a super aggressive play style, so when I down zombies, it's usually, like, my fault, and I could have avoided it, because I just, I like... I like getting into the thick of things. Now, that's what I mean by the game is too easy. What do you mean the game is too easy? I mean, I mean I'm mean, i pretty sure the real Call of Duty Zombies uh, community agree with this. But here's the example. So, you have those perks that you can actually see right down there in the gameplay. You got Quick Revive. Quick Revive used to be, for all Call of Duty's previous to this, Quick Revive used to be when you die, kill a zombie, you revive. Now, Quick Revive, when you heal allies... You get a, a speed boost that is monumental. It is not no small speed boost. You get that. You get your health back faster when you get hit by enemies. Um, and on top of all of those acclimated things, you still get a revive when you kill a zombie. Um, the uh, stamina up. It used to just make you run forever. Now it makes you run forever. Make you run. I mean, I, uh, makes you run forever. Run faster. It never has no sprint speed fall off. It, it, it's too many things that come with it. Juggernaut. Juggernaut used to just be like, I guess, like add like a hundred to your health or double your health or however you want to attribute those points or just use the termination, however you want to use it. But now it doubles your health. It it it, it, it makes you. Uh, so when you take a hit that's supposed to kill you, it doesn't kill you, it reduces your armor and gives you another chance. And and and, and speed cola, it lets you shoot while you're running and reload. And and, and and you can you can literally run around the map with a shotgun and just never stop sprinting and run around. If you run around in a smart circle, you can just run around forever. And the new zombies that keep spawning, you can just bing, 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 bing with a shotgun and just keep on doing it. And you know why you keep on doing it? Because anytime a zombie spawns in front of you, you have that perk right to the right of it. And they call that uh, ch cherry pop, elemental pop, elemental soda, whatever you want to call it. It makes, oh, you haven't even gotten to the elements, guys. Jeez Louise. It makes all elements pop out of your gun. We'll talk about the elements in any moment. And on top of making all elements like the freeze, and then on top of all the elements, it makes you, when you reload, it stuns all zombies that are near you. So what I do is I empty my clip. And this, oh, the more ammo you, you have, less ammo you have in your clip, the stronger the stun is. Just empty your clip on them zombies while you're running around. Bing, 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 bing. And, and if you do happen to get a zombie in front of you, reload, stun them, shoot them, the one that's in front of you. Move on, keep on running, doing what you're doing. Now, let's move on, guys. We have Dead Shot Daiquiri. Dead Shot Daiquiri used to make it so when you aim, it automatically just pinpoints on wherever their crit spot is. Now, it's, by the way, all the perks still do what they do, guys, right? On top of that, it makes it so if you, I say I'm fighting a boss type enemy. If I'm aiming at this crit spot and I hit it, 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 it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. You damn near instant kill zombies on wave 36 with Dead Shot Daiquiri. Because you're auto-aiming on that crit spot. You're, so, you don't have to worry about hitting it. You're going to aim on it all the way, already. And then, you're just shooting at it. I'm not done, guys. Let's talk about this thing. If you look at the HUD to the bottom, all the way to the right. That little thing I got in the right is purple right now. Field upgrades. Special abilities. They used to be kind of like Easter eggs in the game. You used to have to work to get. You kind of like, think about like a special gun. Like, how, uh... I think in Black Ops 3, you had like the Magnum Revolver and stuff like that. Think about it as like a special ability. With this one, it's something that you have from the beginning. You don't have to work to get it. It's just a cooldown to it. And, and as we see right now, I'm in this thing. This thing causes insta-kill. Zombies that come near it um, burst into flames. On top of all of everything I just said... It gets stronger the longer I stand in it. All these things, I know these things I'm saying, guys, you have to upgrade them. So what I'm saying, it's too hard for people who hasn't upgraded these perks, too easy for people who have. And I realized that when I was playing with my friend. Now, he is a noob in Call of Duty, but we were playing together, and he was just getting flayed. And I'm like, why? Why are you dying so much? And I realized because I had everything maxed out that I needed maxed out. There are certain things I don't have maxed out, guys. But I don't have Tombstone Revive maxed out. But as you can see, I don't depend on Tombstone Revive. You have three ways to revive, guys. Tombstone Revive, Quick Revive, and Insta Revives with the uh, the bench. I'm not going to talk about the bench in this video because that's just, that's, that would just draw it on. It's too many easy. Matter of fact, I will because I'm going to make probably, it's a 20-minute video. We'll talk about everything that makes the game too easy. This is a compilation of them all.
with the field upgrades, you got fire ones, you got ice ones, you got ones that make you invisible, you ones that got ones that make zombies walk to a slow, and if they hit you, they explode. You got ones that set traps, and you just have all the, this compilation of things. You can call in chopper gunners, you can call in sentry guns, and I'm going to be honest, all these things are fun, but they are so easy. Every single thing is so easy to acquire, and it's just like the easiest thing. I just don't know. It's just something about it just make it so easy. Like, look at me, guys. Like, have you ever been able to stand in a spot in zombies? This, like, I don't know, in 29? Oh, wow. Here it is, guys. Me interrupt. So imagine how I feel right now. I got all those perks, all those things going on. Connection interrupted. It hurt. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, I love Call of Duty Cold War Zombies. I ain't gonna lie. Despite all I said, I think it might be the best Call of Duty Zombies. I'm a, a the the bet that I saw in my opinion the best Zombies games. It might just be this one or Black Ops Three, because Black Ops Three no Black is Black Ops because Black Ops Three just has a whole abundance of things. It's kind of like a parent. I don't know, like I can like a, a a retired player to a player still. Working on their game, you know, Call of Duty is st literally still working on their game, but I'm gonna be honest, man. Black Ops Three is that game, and it has every single map that you would ever ever could want. On top of that, it's a blast, and it's an enhanced, and it's HD, and it's it's very fun. And they wrapped the whole storyline up, and this one don't really. I mean, the storyline is still a continuation, but it hasn't got there yet. I don't know. I don't really want Dragon. There's so many things I want to pinpoint on, but the main thing, guys, is. Do you guys think the Call of Duty servers are uh, having a problem? Are you guys having this problem or is it just me? That um first audio clip in the beginning, guys, that wasn't me saying, ah, oh, come on. That was like, that guy that said, of course, that wasn't me. That's someone who else is experiencing this same problem. And I think this is a inconsistent problem. I don't think it's just a me thing. That's all I got for today, guys. Share it to your friends. Share it to your friend friends. Like it. Sub it. You know? You know I'm hungry. Oh, please sub. I think I'm Hercules. I think I'm Hercules. I think I'm Hercules. Oh. And I almost forgot. I'm not going to talk about it in detail, but I'll talk about it fast. The elements. Napalm burst. You, you, you can make your guns shoot fire and spread fire to all zombies. Ice blast. You can make every single bullet freeze and slow down zombies. Uh, 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 ex uh, shatter blast. You can make explosions concussing. Boom, 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 boom. You got... Uh, dead wire. You can stun zombies and chain it up to three more zombies. Used to be five, but they nerfed it. It's okay. Still a good amount when you pop in it with elemental pop. And then last but not least, brain rot. Take control of zombies. Which if you if that zombie explode near zombies, they control three more zombies. Like I don't know. I think I'm Hercules really out this time. Do it. I'm glad you were here today. Talk out my fear to my nature, a rackness. Bounce like shit, I'm strapped with plasmids. Mega bust up when I'm snapping like a spazzing square. What happened? I'm on a tear when I spit. I be everywhere like I'm Booker the Whip. 